Hey, welcome everyone. This is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com and this is going to be your stock watch list for Tuesday, May 1st. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, action in the SPY today. You're looking at a pre-post market chart of uh, the SPY uh, this morning. They gapped us up to the SPY, took us up to about this uh, 268 level, the red line you see up here. Uh, we, hit it, we hit it again during the intraday a couple of times and then after that we broke down below VWAP and and then the selling machine just started and kept pushing us down into the close. We broke down and uh, in the after hours, we're still heading down. If you want to take a look at the uh, futures very early, it's about 6.20 uh, p.m. Eastern time, my time. Uh, Dow futures down about four, S&P futures down one. NASDAQ futures are up uh, about three points at the moment in the early session of the uh, overnight session for the future. So uh, SPY still remains within this range. Uh, between the 50 SMA and the 200 SMA, uh, but the bears did a little damage today. We got us below the 20 SMA. We're below the fast moving averages here, back below the 10, the 5. Uh, also, uh, like I said, we're back below the 20 SMA on the uh, SPY. So, uh, you know, uh, about, I think I read someplace 79.3% uh, or 79.5% of uh, earnings uh, companies have reported uh, better than expected expected uh, so uh, not helping the markets uh, with all this good earnings news coming out uh, spy still pushing down uh, we also have uh, some things coming up for the week ahead we have Apple earnings coming out tomorrow Tuesday May 1st after the bell it's going to be very important uh, we'll have to see how that demand for the uh, iPhone is uh, and our earnings uh, you know going to meet expectations or not meet expectations for Apple for Tuesday after the bell. Uh, also, FOMC meeting is Wednesday, the rate decision coming up uh, for Wednesday. So let's go ahead and get into some news that came out uh, after the bell uh, tonight. All right, so after the bell tonight, uh, we got KPI uh, halted, KPTI, uh, and then some news came out, but we'll get into that in a moment. AKAM uh, came out with earnings after the bell. All right, and if uh, any indication, uh, you see we got this pop after the earnings. They beat earnings per share, uh, beat revenue beat on AKAM, Akamai Technologies, the nice push up, and then slowly uh, giving it back uh, in the after hours, but hasn't completely given it back. We also have had that news that came out from uh, KPTI uh, announces positive top line data phase two uh, study on KPTI. So KPTI, uh, after they unhalted it, uh, the stock popped up all the way to 17.50. Uh, right now trading at $16.60. You see the gap up uh, on the from the halt there. Uh, IDTI earnings per share revenue beat ARAY. Uh, they missed by five cents but beat on revenue. EGOV uh, beat by a penny missed on revenue. EGOV uh, that that stock not doing too much in the after hours. Uh, HLIT, they beat by five cents, also beat on revenue. HLIT, uh, that stock not doing too much after the bell. CURO had some news after the bell. Uh, CGNX, they missed by two cents, also missed by revenue. CGNX, uh, that stock uh, pushing down in the after hours uh, on those bad, that bad earnings uh, release. Uh, next up, we had MX uh, Semiconductor missed by two cents, beats on revenue. Uh, INGN uh, beat by 19 cents, beat by uh, on revenue. INGN, uh, this stock uh, moving up strong in the after hours on INGN. Uh, MPWR beat by two cents, beat on revenue. Uh, next up, we had XRM, they beat on revenue. After that, we had uh, PKI, they beat by two cents, beat on revenue. Rig, Transocean, missed by 11 cents, but beat on revenue for uh, Rig. Uh, that stock uh, selling off in the after hours tonight on Rig. Uh, misses by 11 cents, they beat on revenue for RIG. 
Uh, after that, we had um, Tenant, T-N-E-T, uh, beat by 17 cents, beat on revenue, T-N-E-T. Uh, that stock not doing too much in the after hours so far. Uh, Tops, C, uh, shipping announced a, su a successful completion of C trials. So let's see, T-O-P-S. Uh, stock popped up on that news, but uh, sold back off. Uh, Boeing declares a $1.71 dividend. Here's some of your earnings uh, for tomorrow morning before the bell. We have AET, ADM, Archer Daniels Midland, uh, and quite a bunch of, uh, you know, smaller guy rent cent they missed by 16 cents misses on revenue RCII uh, that stock uh, fading off in the after hours and uh, Amazon announces plans uh, to expand Vancouver tech hub and create uh, 3,000 high-tech uh, jobs that's Amazon uh, coming out with news after the bell uh, uh, let's see, Mnuchin uh, says uh, expect tariff decision later today from uh, President Trump. That's from uh, Bloomberg. So some tariff uh, talk will be coming out probably today. All right, so some stocks I'll have on watch for tomorrow. Um, I'll have this AKAM uh, showing strength. We'll see. Maybe we get a pullback, some type of, uh, you know, pullback, consolidation, and then a move up on AKAM. Uh, next one up I'll be watching is AKAO. Volume came into the stock. 3.7 million shares uh, traded today. Nice uh, gap up above the 200 SMA on the daily chart here. So this one will be on watch. ATOS. They did a reverse split. Uh, back here, one for 12. Volume came in today, 4.2 million shares. The high on this name on ATOS was uh, $4.59. So we'll keep an eye on that one for an intraday setup. Uh, CHEK, I'll attach to this video uh, at the end. You'll see this the uh, setup we used today. Uh, we traded this CHK. The entry was $9.20. Uh, stock pushed all the way up to $14.70. That, that video will be be attached at the end on this vet video so this will be on watch again for tomorrow D A R E dare uh, kind of in this tight uh, consolidation uh, needs to get over this uh, 135 ish spot 136 so it'll be on watch uh, for tomorrow we had 4 million shares uh, trade in the name today EYPT nice pop-up a little bit extended uh, for me but if it can get back over say that 255 area that was the highs today uh, maybe we get a continuation move for a quick trade uh, GNCA uh, you know, this one basing kind of or right underneath that $1 spot. Uh, we'll see. It's an under $1 name right now. It had big volume uh, a few days ago. Uh, we'll see if this one wants to do anything. If you like those under $1 names for that $1 break, keep an eye on GNCA here. All right. This one uh, moving up nicely. Now, we've been trading this uh, in the service uh, last week. Uh, we didn't trade it today. Uh, but still holding up kind of uh, that 560 area uh, resistance at the moment on HEAR. Keep an eye on that. HTBX, uh, no offering uh, after the bell. Was thinking that they were going to do an offering. Look at this volume that came in. 7 million shares on HTBX. Uh, big move up today on that name. So that'll be on watch for tomorrow. Uh, HTGM, this one curling up nicely. Uh, if we can get back over, say, the highs today, 407 on HTGM. 1.4 million shares uh, still under the 50 SMA uh, but is starting to turn back up on that name that'll be on watch a KPTI which had that news after the bell nice ramp up in the after hours that'll be on watch I uh, gotta like this uh, gap here on earnings from McDonald's pushing up uh, so this one will be on watch for a possible maybe swing trade uh, in McDonald's on that name NSPR uh, trying to turn the corner back up. Had a high today of 133. So maybe 135 is enough to get this uh, NSPR moving up. Possibly, you know, fill that gap area. We'll see on NSPR. We actually traded this in the service today. Took this over $1.22 and it gave us a push up about a dime 
on it to about a dollar thirty two a dollar thirty three on NSPR uh, next up we had uh, TEUM we'll be watching this one you know it gets news every day it just does not um, you know continue moving up you get these pops in the pre-market and then it just kind of chops sideways uh, if one of these days it can break three bucks maybe you get that nice push up in TEUM so we'll keep it on watch uh, THC they had earnings after the bell you see the stock gapping up tenant uh, healthcare uh, that stock uh, pushing up so we'll have THC on watch and earnings play uh, Twitter had that news with uh, Disney uh, we actually traded this one in the service on the uh, break of 2990 uh, uh, the stock moved all the way up to uh, Thirty dollars seventy-four cents. Uh, entry was uh, twenty-nine ninety, and nice continuation move on that news with uh, Disney. Uh, so Twitter will be on watch tomorrow. ZN and oil name uh, was getting some buying today. Uh, some expanding volume here. Uh, the high today on ZN four forty. A nice little oil name. So keep this one on watch. One thing I don't like. I don't know if this is real or not. I see in the after hours kind of uh, ticking down here, but uh, we'll give it the benefit benefit of the doubt and keep it on watch for tomorrow. Uh, ZS, a recent uh, IPO, as you can see by the daily chart here, uh, watching for that, uh, maybe that $30 break. 30.06 was the high today, so maybe 30.10 will be enough to get this one going. Nice strong chart, relative uh, strength today to the market as the SPY was moving down. All right, this is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com. If you like these videos and if you're getting something from them, please hit the like button. button. If you're new to the videos, please hit the subscribe button. Hit any of those buttons down below. Hit like, dislike, uh, or hit the subscribe button. All right, everybody. Have a great night.